Ready? Let's go! Nature's Tiny Gardeners It's a sunny spring day. Flowers, fruits, and veggies are growing in the garden. People worked hard to help these plants grow, but if you look more closely, you'll find that there are tiny gardeners still hard at work. Little critters are a big reason gardens grow and stay healthy. Earthworms, bees, and ladybugs all help plants in important ways. Earthworms keep soil healthy, but how do they do it? These squirmy worms make their homes in the soil. As they travel through the dirt, their bodies leave behind tiny tunnels. These tunnels let air and water into the soil. Without air and water, plants can't survive. The worms do another thing that helps. They poop. They eat leaves, seeds, and dirt. They leave their poop behind. Piles of earthworm poop are called castings. The castings are really good for the garden. They have a lot of nutrients in them. Nutrients make the soil healthier. They help plants grow big and strong. These slimy critters aren't the only garden helpers. Busy, buzzy bees are itty bitty gardeners too. A bee flies from flower to flower collecting pollen. Pollen is the dust made inside flowers. The pollen sticks to the hairs on the bee's body. Some of this pollen will rub off on the next flower the bee visits. The pollen will help seeds form. One day, those seeds will sprout and grow into new plants. A lot of the food we eat depends on these busy bees spreading pollen from flower to flower. Look at all those insects eating that plant. They're aphids. Are they helping the garden grow? No, they are harming this plant. Thankfully, there's another little crawler that can solve this problem. Ladybugs to the rescue. Ladybugs eat aphids. In fact, one ladybug can eat thousands of aphids in its lifetime. Farmers and gardeners love having ladybugs around because they don't hurt the plants. They protect them from hungry, harmful aphids. So the next time you spot a ladybug crawling on a leaf, a bee landing on a flower, or a slimy worm in the dirt, just know that you're looking at one of nature's teeny tiny gardeners.